We are back with more on the WHHI news. We were fortunate enough not to have a lot of damage here on Hilton Head Island, which means there are people like Pastor Myers of the First Baptist Church of Hilton Head Island who have said to their folks and others, hey, let's go where they need the assistance. Yeah. You actually have trained um, disaster relief folks at the church, right? We do, yeah. We've got about 30 people that are trained in mainly three different uh, areas of disaster relief. And, and yeah. what kind of relief areas are they? There's a, a, a bunch. The three that we focused on for our immediate area and, and they're also very useful in the region are mud out. So when a house floods, we go in and rip carpet out, rip drywall up uh, a, a certain number of inches below the affected area. Uh, chainsaw work with uh, downed trees, which we've been doing some of that on Hilton Head. Uh, and then we also do feeding, mass feeding units. And so, yeah, we do all, of, all three of those. Extremely, extremely important. Um, I mean, especially upstate and elsewhere. What are your plans now? I know you're putting out the word to the community here. You're gonna be making a trip. Yes, we are, yeah. So we, uh, we've we got a, a box truck going up Thursday, uh, for sure with supplies up to the mountains of North Carolina. Uh, and then uh, probably another one in the next week or two, uh, going to the upstate of South Carolina. So we're planning on next week. Uh, but Thursday morning, uh, our crews will head out with a box truck full of supplies. We've got Sprout Mamas is uh, partnering with us and some other area uh, organizations are partnering with us to get supplies together for those in need. Okay, so what is it you need? People watching you now, what would you uh, say would be very helpful for you to put in that uh, box truck? Oh, man, uh, drinking water's huge. Uh, so of course, water's contaminated. They're saying it could be contaminated in those areas for weeks on end. Uh, food uh, that doesn't have to be cooked uh, in order to be prepared. So bread, peanut butter, and jelly, and uh, stuff like that. Non-perishable stuff, non stuff okay. yeah. Uh, cans of food, as long as they've got a pop top, uh, of course, that's a lot easier. Um, and then um, gas cans. One of the things that they've seen in these flooded areas is yeah, gas cans floated away. Oh and so gosh. just gas cans to run generators and chainsaws and all that kind of stuff. You mentioned that, I mean, this is incredible though, the fact that you have volunteers that can go in and help when, when someone's home has been flooded and do some of the mm -hmm. remediation with that. Is that something you're gonna wait and do further on down the road once the floods, flood waters recede and you know what kind of damages this yeah. is they need? Yeah, so we've had the last three weeks, we've had teams in North Carolina uh, that, from some flooding that happened. Uh, and then three we've got weeks, a- you're talking? Yeah, the last three weeks. Okay. Uh, and then. Uh, we've got a team leaving to Gaffney, South Carolina this week, a mass feeding team. Uh, next week, we've got a chainsaw team uh, going to upstate South Carolina and the mountains of North Carolina. And then of course, you're getting access to the properties first, uh, roads blocked and all that kind of stuff. And then once we get in, yeah, it's, as quick as we can uh, to get the, uh, the mud out teams in, the, the less mold there's gonna be. That is a lot of work and I am impressed that people are willing to be trained to do that kind of work. Yeah. It's, it's not easy. Um, so right now, the most urgent need for you to get to people is the food. Yeah, I'd, I'd say food, cans. water, gas cans, batteries. Uh, they need cleaning supplies, beach, uh, uh, bleach, uh, uh, latex gloves, face mask, stuff like that. Okay, and where should people bring it? To the church? They can bring it right to you? the church. Our, our Family Life Center uh, is the back building at First Baptist Church. It's 100 South Forest Beach Drive. Uh, they're right, right back there. And even if they can't make it this week, we're gonna be taking loads week after week. I have week. a feeling you will be. Yeah. Um, can I ask you why? do you decide this is something we need to do? I mean, how did this germinate from like your folks with the church? Did you come up with the idea? How did yeah, this no, so uh, we're part of the Southern Baptist Convention. Uh, Southern Baptist Disaster Relief is a big organization. There's about 70,000 trained volunteers uh, uh, who go in and do this. So for us, it's just, we, we've gotten involved with disaster relief because hurting people uh, need love. And so God loves people. Uh, and so for us, we, we, wanna, we wanna help people when they're hurting. Well, Pastor Brett, I hope you get some more assistance from folks around Hilton Head Island and beyond with your efforts, and we yeah, appreciate your time. I appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks so, much. so much. Thank you. Stay right there. Coming up next, Mind Your Health with Dr. Debbie Lines.